back to later and I'll click on it later. A lot of stuff dealing with the professor's research. And ain't nobody got time for that. Get the game yourself. Read it on your own time. It's only what, like ten dollars on PSN? Yes. Most of that is just recapping Legends One. The other two entries on that screen are uh, talking about the Forbidden Island, and uh, we can get that by going to Forbidden Island. I was gonna say I don't think there's really much else other than poking around Mega Man's room. Yeah, I think maybe there's some more cash in here. Oh, oh yep. Mega Man raided his cash stash on that other box. So. Yes. Strangely relaxing cactus. It's a good thing I'm not a real human being, otherwise this whole lack of sleep thing would probably catch up to me. Broken clock, which is right twice a day. But I'll leave it there anyway. Don't forget you have to check the uh, kitchen before we roll repairs it. I also forget. I think if you try to go in there, Mega Man, this is probably not a good idea right now. That was correct. Oh, I forgot about the Flutter storage room. Yeah, which, for whatever reason, you can't go into because the fire destroyed the living room. At least... <laughs> so what, like, Mega Man doesn't poop? Doesn't poop, has to clean the toilet. Why do you say that? What do you call the, uh, the washer? The, huh? the faucet, blue. Uh, Rolls, uh, refer to it as rolls. He's like, okay, I guess he doesn't wash his hands, he doesn't poop, he doesn't use the bathroom at all. Now, maybe if I talk to Data. <coughs> yes, I had an inkling about that. Mega Man's just like, our living room looks like Roll's gonna look after prom night. Wrecked. <laughs> Fucking sweet! Ah, uh, maybe you can get rid of the Aqua Buster. <clears throat> maybe. I think I am stuck with it. Oh, well, you're right, man. I don't have anything else to equip. Improve it! Anyway, now that we've got the jet skates which we now must equip. Roll just kind of like looks at the hover skates and just kind of just goes put press them together and wrap some duct tape around it and it's like, here you go. <laughs> you got jet skates. Now, let's go have a look in those ruins because I think at the very least there's some more plaster parts or something. Yes, wheels to match the tank controls. <laughs> Poor rabbit. <laughs> Getting around is so much faster with these things. Now let's see. I wish there was a fucking fast way to get around and dark shit. 
Yeah, Dark Souls 2 is kind of a lot better about that. You have, you know, warping enabled between bonfires from the start, and you can warp between all bonfires, not just a select few of them. Well, presumably once you after you find them. Yes. Always gotta look for holes in the walls because they hide some good shit in holes in the walls. That reminds me of what I bought the figure out the how the old battle looks like here pretty soon. Yeah, we need to try it out at some point. If I remember correctly, Marish wanted to do a Katamari and Dabashi. Yes, she did. And I'd rather fight with your computer than mine. I think she was emulating it last time she played it. Some, uh... Didn't you want to play uh, Katamari Damashi? Broken model gun. Uh, okay. Motherfucking jet skates. I mean, it could be Miss Mur Miss Mur Misremembering. Pretty sure there is. Sick nasty. Sick nasty. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's in the. Uh, I don't think it's a specific button for you. To do the menu. Probably so. Uh, yes. Not that it does much good while we're outside, but. No. Remember, if there's anything over in this area... I feel like I probably should, uh, play some more Donkey Kong, so I have something to alternate between. after this episode I know. I guess there's nothing left. Oh. Train tracks, I wonder what those could be used for. Could that possibly pop later in the game? 
Who knows? I'd be like, nope. I would just leave it there. That's the kind of asshole game designer I would be, just leaving shit around, just like, oh. There'd be like one useless thing that would actually give you like a description. It's like it's almost like the game designers just said fuck it at some point. Almost. Spoilers, he did. One final errand before we go off to uh, rescue Roll's parents. Who the game desperately wishes to wishes us to wonder. Uh, if they are, in fact, her parents. But, spoilers, they are her parents. I forget what the hell was the light chip for again. Uh, I believe it prevents damage from electrified floors. You should buy the armor. You're right, I should buy the armor. And then probably the power razor. Indeed. Razor power. Enlarge your Johnson. Mui, 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 bueno. Where in the hell is the helmet? That's what I want to know. Not until like a quarter of the way through the game. No, 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 no. I would go with. I would take off the range booster in exchange. You're probably right. I know. Shoot first, shoot fast, shoot often. No, slamming your face into a reaver bot is not really the best way of damaging them. Sick nasty, right in the post. I really feel like there was something up here. I don't know. Cutscene. Oh, get in there, Data. Are you ready, Mega Man? Yep. Okay, here we go. Hold We're just... open. Plot twist, the ship just ejects you face first into the stratosphere. That's the drop part of drop ship. I fail to see how this would even, like, feasibly work. Popeye. Well, you see, the storm around the island is a hurricane, which Mega Man? you really Mega can't Man, just are you all right? drop an airship down into. You, you need you something go. like this I'm little okay. dropship. Good. If you want to come back to the flutter, just get into the dropship, okay? All right, then. Let's try and find Grant's ship. It looks like it's drifting. I'm getting a reading north of your position. When you're ready, try heading north and see what you can find. Eh? 
hell was that noise? I don't know. It's wrecked. It's all wrecked. It's all broken. Nope. There are no bottomless pits in this game. And, uh, invisible wall preventing you from crossing this gap, which Mega Man can easily jump. Just kind of because. Mega Man, be careful! It looks like there's something under the snow in front of you. I guess, maybe, I don't know. Give me the cash. Don't worry about it too much, man. Such snow, wow. Sober. Must be a little breezy. I'm picking up something. It looks like human life signs, but I'm not sure. We can come back and check it out later. For now, let's just keep looking for Gramps' ship. <laughs> Who cares if they're alive? Whatever, you know? What is it? Do you see something? I'm not picking up anything. It's a lady. A mysterious woman in a dropship that looks exactly like the dropship that rolls dead. Though. Quick, Mega Man touched the movies. Yet there are no life signs. Wonder what that could mean. So, so she's dead, so like nobody will care. Obviously a reaver bot roll. Not a very threatening one at that. You don't have to worry about consent when you're dead. This shit, I'm out of here. Whoa, never mind. Yeah, I mean, of course, why not? How did the wolf get up here? Bring wolf. I'm going to assume that Reaverbot just has a bunch of wires running through that ring. Otherwise, mechanically, the design makes literally no sense. The dog you can just hang up on the coat back. <laughs> but yes, uh, they are dangerous, regardless of how silly they look. Another game with quick turning. Yes. Let's take controls. It is such a welcome thing. I don't remember if this came before or after Resident Evil 3. I don't have any idea. You 
come back here later in the game, and I think all of the Reaver bots are just gone. It's just completely empty. Mega Man made them all extinct. There's a Reaver bot close by. Watch out! You don't say. So simple. Circle strike. Pretty, pretty hefty explosion, so. Yeah. She has two questions we haven't actually answered in my open box. Well, one is directed specifically at me. Alex, are you the only person on Rad Bros who doesn't really drink? It's gotta be rough. Yes. To both. Yes, the elephants are pissed! I don't actually really have any vices, so there's kind of a... I would argue that your vice is eating. It's not really a vice when you have to do it to live. Technically, but still... Yeah. It's not like you can't take the hits. Yeah, I just forget how the hell you're intended to get through this. You have to be quick or you're dead. That's how it works. For whatever reason, they were coming from nowhere and immediately stop coming from nowhere when you get past the fog. What do you have to say, Data? How do you know Data? I guess if you mean like what I do in excess than video games, but entertaining oneself is not really what I would call a vice. <laughs> Drugs, yes. Alcohol, yes. A little bit less so on uh, like I don't know. Would you say a person who sits inside and reads the book books all the time would have has a vice? Oh, this is an odd-looking refractor. Wonder what happens if we touch it. Mega Man, what did you do? I'm I didn't touch anything. Energy surge. I think it might be a giant Reaper boss. Get out of there, Mega Man! Mega Man! Mega Man, can you hit me? I'm sorry, Roll. I can't hear you. Something's happening. It's a giant elephant. Let's blow it up. Okay, I'm going to make a case for range here over uh, speed. Yeah, probably wise. That way I don't have to get all up in its jock to actually do damage. I was just going to check how you, how you say a uh, massive elephant in French, but apparently it is Elephant de Massive. <laughs> That's great. That's if Google Translate is to be believed. Okay, how about Big Elephant? 
Nope, literally just big ally. Ah. And the other question that I didn't we didn't answer is uh what is my preferred race play in D and D? Our preferred race. Anything that isn't a halfling, or a gnome, or a dwarf. I usually tend to play humans or some variant thereof. If it's le less than five it's feet storm. tall, then I don't want to play it. Technically, Marge, you're more than four feet, oh, or yeah, five feet tall. Has off. it finally so, uh, stopped? Oh, I thought we were goners for sure. Gnomes make me think of a... Uh, that was nothing. Look at me. Literally, uh... Show off. Literally Before every person who has played a gnome been has been obnoxious you about it. this flying wash tub of yours would have held up better? <clears throat> Are you talking well, to me, Striker? I don't mostly we play really Drow. Them, we wouldn't call them accidents, would Is we? Drow? This Drow. Where? Hmm. And then there's me. Hey, Lord. <laughs> How come those old fogies are so chipper, huh? My stomach feels like it's been through a washing machine spin cycle. Uh, Teaser, look! Triangle. I have played a pretty solid mixture of uh, humans, half elves. Elves. Occasional half -order. Huh? It's a naked woman and some dude. Pixelated polygonal butt. Well, that's done it. They woke her up. The Carbons have decided their own fate. This is because they've activated Mistress Sarah. You've done enough for them, Mistress Yuna. You are required to relinquish the keys to her. No, it's not enough. Why did the Master entrust that purifier unit with his genetic code? It was his job to hunt down and eliminate all aberrant units, so why did he become the greatest aberrant of all? There are still too many unanswered questions. Mistress Yuna, surely you have enough information to arrive at a conclusion. Think, Gats. <laughs> what if the carbons, which the Master loves so dearly, were more important than the Master system? What then? Uh... What? The chances of such a possibility being true are non-existent. Are they? Cuts back How to can you be so X sure? like, actually. Uh-oh, we better get out of here. Agreed. So, spoilers. Remember at the end of the first game when Data said he was created to keep Mother 2 from being able to scan his hmm. memory? It appears that well, this, this naked lady is Mother 2. To the keys, Mistress Sarah. Da, da, da. What is she thinking? Her logic is as mysterious as was the Master's. You know what you have to do. Yes, the directive of this unit is ensuring your safety. Very well. Hmm. One of the carbon ships. We must first recover Mother the keys to the like, library. It seems we chilly. We can acquire and deal with the My Master's genetic code diamonds. sample afterward. Understood. Cut up, phone. Yes. Rock is blue screening at the side of glorious titties. I don't know, she looked pretty flat. How come we end up stuck in here? Think about it, Teasel. Do you think they're just going to have a press conference with what's happened? Yes. 
What was that blue fellow doing there anyway? I don't like it, not one bit. One thing's for sure. I'll get him this time, or my name's not. Shh. I'm picking something up. So what you're saying is, if you have possession of these four keys, we can unlock the Mother Lode and save Mistress Sarah. Is that it? Sure. Correct. We are from the past, your ancestors. We are in a world we never made. We mean no harm. We simply desire to live out the rest of our lives as best we can. His, human, his speech patterns don't seem entirely human. What should we do? Uh, of course. Let's just take everything he says at face value. Yeah. With the keys, you will have access to technology that has long been lost to you. You would have the ability to make all the refractors you need. I understand. Leave yeah, this guy is not uh, to us. very. We are not the only ones searching actor. for the mother load. Then again, for your but he is a Reaverbot, so the ship. I'm going to let it slide this time. Is it makes hmm. sense that he'd be a little Speak lifeless? Speak of the devil. <laughs> Why you were you spying on me? I thought we were supposed to be allies, aren't we? We're a unified front. Errol has team. finally had enough we of teasel shit. You hold out like on us. A unified front. There's only two of you. Ah, but they are veterans, remember, Teasel? Not like some people I know who think the more people you have working for you, the better you are. Oh, and what about you, you now, guy now, Teasel, who showed up barrier, right? in a game nobody else we played? Set. We can dump them anytime we want. Right. Clyde All here. All right then, let's get this show on the road. Showed up and what we need to do is split up and Tron take over any town that's got a large ruin nearby. Then we explore yes. the ruins and find these keys. All right, boys, look sharp. Let's go. Yes, Teasel more than makes up for any poor for her from anyone else. But anyway, yes, uh, Glide is a Those two person really that the bonds nerves. deal with uh, prior to. Mega Man Legends. Pirates on the move uh, already. In the misadventures of Tron Bond. That complicates matters. They have a history, oh, we shall say. You can't fool me. And it is not a friendly is it history. That obvious? Don't you think you're getting too old for playing around with pirates? <laughs> nope. Find Mega Man. Bring him here. Yes, sir. You're not going to drag them into your escapades again, are you? Well, I just want to talk to them. They'll get involved with or without me. I my. Shut up with your logic and your being right about this entire situation. Mr. Mega Man, sir. Yes. Mr. Blucher would like Blue to see. Blucher does have a point. Rock and roll would be sticking their noses into it no matter what. Yes, Alex. Pretend to play your violin. The most generic of violin songs. Oh yes, lest we forget that Barrel Casket is a well-established author. Chapter one: How to and how to be a digger. Research, 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 research. Yeah, the the Sulphur Bottom is basically a flying four-star hotel. It's like the Titanic of airships. Uh, and I mean that in every conceivable way. Bill's just like, research until you know where the titties are. Chapter 2, find the titties. Chapter 3, get the titties. What is it with you and titties? Uh, today I don't know. I... I am disappointed that that did not go where I thought it was going. Threesome. <laughs> it's like, wait, this is just fan fiction about me. Hello, sir, bot.
It sure would be awful if somebody, like, stole the ship, right? Yeah, chapter four. Check check to make sure the robots haven't replaced your titties with robot titties. Yes. Unless you're into that, in which case, well, chapter four, robot titties. Uh... Yes. I shan't expound upon that any further. Anyway. Probably a five save point. Or, or a data. Yes. Where the hell is data now that you mention it? Uh -huh. Not this way. Damn it. Well, I guess this episode's gonna go a little bit longer than uh, normal. Geese and a mother load. What a silly idea. Would that really be such a bad th No! I won't. Let's see what happens if you say no. It's a but thou must. No! Situation. You didn't really even give me a chance to object. You just said, but you gotta. Like you pronounce that? Pokte? Pokte? Pokte, I think. Pokte. The island with the mayor who's got the titties. Yes. Data, where the fuck are you, you little bastard? I don't think he's in this room. In the room with the key. Perhaps the room where the keys go. I like how the music just entirely stops in there. It's supposed to be ominous. Well, rock. Damn it, roll. Game, stop talking to us. Yeah, I'll I'll do that when I'm ready to go. Well, presumably... Well, this is... Uh, the only other door is the one to... Elevator to somewhere. Elevator to nowhere. Anyway, I, I was going to make a joke about the, the serve bots stealing this thing and... Renaming it the uh, Gessel Shaft 2. I'm sure you do. Sleep. Yeah, we'll go with that. Right, find data. Yes. Simpler layout than one might think. Yeah, I'm sure. I wonder if the map would be of any use. No. <laughs> it doesn't label anything. Open the door, Rock. I think we're going to have to fast forward this a little bit. You know, just to... My reaction is about the same as Rock's. Right, find data. I'm... Fucking working on it. Less checking stuff, more finding data. In this room. Another freaking serve bot. That's nice, serve bot, but you're not data. I'm only a little lost. I mean, it's not like this ship is fucking huge or anything. Well, that answers that. Back up the elevator and through that other door.
You heard her, Alex, do that thing. Yes. Bastards either on the flutter or in the shop, I forget which. Probably on the flutter. Probably. So, you know what? I'll just explore the shop next time because, you know, we have to explore the shop. And there's shit in these crates, too. There we go. Well, I was going to say I was going to play. Finish, probably finish up Donkey Kong tonight. Because otherwise, I'd be posting two Mega Man episodes in a row. You have literally no other videos? Nope. I had Resident Evil episodes, but. Yeah. Yeah. Well, whatever. Next time on Radical Bromance, more monkey business. And stuff will be purchased. Uh, buy everything from the shop. 